Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Delightful Creations. I'm Amber. Today I'm here to have a play with my journal that I've been working in. I've spent the last couple of days finishing up the cover, um, making some book page pockets and a tassel. So I wanted to share that with you and then have a play of like placing the things inside the journal and uh, yeah, just having fun. So I've got all these scraps over here. I did think maybe I was gonna use this little book page fold down and I inked it to see how bright the lemonade um, ink is and I don't like how bright it is. So I'm not gonna be using this particular piece, but I just thought I'd give it a try. So over here are all my scraps. I'm just gonna move these out of the way. These are pieces that I've made for my journal. I showed you guys this one, and I just cut these off from the ledger paper. And I have all these book pages here. So this one is a flip out writing space and another flip out writing space. And I took these from a gardening book so that's kind of nice. I have just a little tab thing here that I found I thought I might use. I made a mixed media flip up tag. I thought that would look cute like over the page. I'm not sure yet. Um, and then I have just a textured journal card backed. I haven't decorated anything of course. And let's see here, what else we have? I've got a pocket that I sewed around dictionary page that's gonna be plopped down. I've got this fun Big tag here, or big um, pocket here, it has a corner tuck here, and then down here on the bottom as well, right there. And it has a pronghorn. I just chose pages that had nice orange coloring on it from my kids' dictionary. And um, I, we have antelope, pronghorn antelope on our yard like almost every day, so that's <laughs> why I chose that one. And then this is from the garden book, and I made a little coin envelope and sewed around it. And I meant to make it because I have two signatures, so I want to put like one on the front, one on the back is what I was thinking, but I think I have too many pockets now. So anyways, I wanted to make one go this way and one go this way, but then the, the writing's upside down, so we're going to have two go in the same way, or, you know, whatever. I've got two of these. These are a little bit different. They look the same when you're just looking at them like this, but what's really cool about this one is it has a pocket here, a pocket here, and on the bottom, and then of course you could put one on the top or the side or whatever, but this one looks the same. It's just folded the other way. Pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, but this one I made a flip out. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? So I can journal over here, and I have another little pocket here. So I've got a pocket, pocket, flip out, so it's not really a pocket, but a flip out with a pocket on the front and then again on each side if you wanted. I wanted to make an envelope and I added a little bit of lace and I got really excited about putting this on a page and having writing space here and then this being the envelope. But because I chose to use dictionary page, this seam right here is super, super fragile. I'm not gonna be able to attach it. I should have sewn it to the page and I'm afraid now that if I go back and try to sew it, it's just gonna rip and I'm gonna be ending up with this on my page and this off. So I'm thinking glue it to a page like this and have it just flip out, flip over to write on and then grab whatever I want out of there. So we'll see how that goes. And then of course all these pieces from the kit I didn't do anything with. Um, I just cut them out. And I showed you this already, my little writing space. Don't know if we'll be using it. And these are my little tiny pieces that I cut. But underneath here, I have another page that I designed. And I tried to make some, I tried. I did some embossing yesterday. It's all over my desk. Um, <laughs> anyways, I tried to design another fall page. And this one says Autumn Blessings. I know I have one on my journal here that says Happy Fall. And then I have the scrap piece to this one. Oops, you can't see that. This page here says Fall Blessings. So this one just says Autumn Blessings. This one is on my Pixabay page to download for free. And I designed it so that it had the crack going down the middle to be able to fold in half and you would have inking along all of your edges here. So I, what I'm gonna do with mine is I'm gonna fold it in half just like this. And I was thinking about putting it inside my pocket page to have something to write on. So anyways, this is my journal. And then, um, let me show you the cover. I did sew around it. I sewed around the whole edge. I added my metal pieces, which were actually really, really fat. So I had to like super squash them down. I didn't realize how much space there was in between the metal. And then I have my fabric in the middle. And then I added a pocket to the front here. Um, I should have ma maybe made it gusseted because now I'm like, ah, I don't know if I should have done that. And so, yeah, nice big pocket here. I'm not gonna put anything brown in there because you can't really see it. I thought maybe um, something fun to put in here. And I'm kind of bummed that 
um, that I don't get to feel the texture on this one. I, I didn't realize that until like right now because <laughs> this side feels cool, uh, but that's all right. This is going to be a nice big flag on the front. And of course we got this. So then I can bookmark where I am. I was going to have a tassel like attachment to the side here, but I don't think I'm going to do that anymore because I already glued my fabric down and I don't want to see the prongs and I don't want to add another fabric. So I put my tassel, which is right here. I'm super happy with it. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, the only orange beads that I had. So I put it on a bulb pin and I thought that'll be really easy and I can just punch maybe a little, a little hole in here and then put a eyelet and then loop it in. And I... I don't think it'll get in the way of this. I mean, it might be a nightmare. <laughs> it might be a nightmare. It might not be. We'll find out. Um, so I used a scrap piece of fabric that I had, a piece of lace, and then all these, I have three fun trims, a red, yellow, and um, orange from my rug. Super happy about that. I got a piece of twine in here because, you know, it's like country. I don't know. That's just what I like. And then I found this fun, neutral, fat yarn piece and a small piece of really bright ribbon, a piece of brown um, organza ribbon, and then there's a fun trim in here that has like these squares that are in brown. So yeah, just a lot of fun fun little things here. I couldn't figure out, oh, and then this, I believe I got this fun orange trim here ribbon from Miss Candy um, that she sent me and I wanted to use it. I really like that dark orange. I thought it went with this bead. Um, and then, so I couldn't figure out how to tie my wire off underneath here. So I just did a hot mess I and mean, you really can't see what I did there, but it's a hot mess, but you can't, it's all right. Can't see it cause it's covered up. So I got to watch some <laughs> YouTube videos. That's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. Watching YouTube videos on how to do more tassel-y things underneath. So that's where we are. And I'm going to get the cover out of the way. I'm going to get the tassel out of the way. I'm going to bring in the journal pages. And I think we'll just start with the first signature. And kind of just have a look-see here of what I feel like. I want this one kind of up here towards the middle. I need to do something to this page because it's gross. And, uh, yeah, I'm not liking it. So even, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I like this, that it fits here, but I don't like even seeing that grain. So I don't, this might be a collage page. I don't know. But I have a mixed-media pocket on this side, which is really fun. And then I've got my coffee-dyed paper. Big, big pocket page. And that's what I was thinking because it's so big, I can just trim down this just a little bit, even though I'll lose the edging, and be able to have a nice big journal card in here, and just have it be one or their blessings, or have autumn in there, and like I said, to just trim it down, because it, it will fit, and then have a pull-up tab, and that's where I was thinking to use something like this, but I really wanted to use some of my fabric trims, and so I was thinking, well, maybe I'll just use this on like a tag inside of a pocket so I don't have fabric bulking up the middle of the journal. So that's a kind of the plan for this page, for the pocket anyways. Wood grain writing, my fox boy. And so what I noticed is I have um, a pocket on this side, a big page pocket on this side, and then I've got this music paper with a pocket on this side. And that's three like basically right in a row and so I want to change up this pattern. So I'm thinking to make the notch on this one, I'm gonna make it on this side of the page because I can still journal over here. Even though there's a notch there, I'm gonna make it on this side just so that it feels like it's you're taking it out from <laughs> the left side instead of the right. Whoops, grab the wrong thing there. I grabbed the corner rounder. I meant to grab this little guy here. So that was my thinking on that because I didn't like that it was all, all the same. And I think, I was thinking maybe put it up towards the top just for something a little different. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Up towards the top for a little something different. There, like that. Okay. And then um, I'll probably ink around it with brown, I'm thinking. I'm not sure because I did all my inking over here with orange and yellow. So I used... Um, dried marigold and scattered straw interchangeably on top of each other, mixed with each other, and no brown because I have brown sewing. Um, but that's my thought. So we have that. Okay. Get to going. Get to going here. And this page, and then we're going to collage here, or I'll do that off camera. I'm not sure yet, but I want to collage there. And I love this page. I don't like that I can't journal on it. So I want to add... Um, sorry, I got it cold. Um, I want to add a pocket here. 
And that's what I was thinking. I didn't really care for this fence here either. Um, and so I thought this would be a really good place to have maybe a pocket pull out here. And then if I want, I could tuck behind it. So let's just see which one I like better. This one says tomato right on it with um, some squash. And, um, you know, I'd like, it's, it's okay. It's okay. This one does talk about Idaho potatoes in New York and straw. Um, this is the potato page. So I'm not, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I'd have to cover up that New York and then California. Cause this is, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and this one does talk about Oregon. This one has Oregon, Connecticut, and Michigan. Anyway, that's just what my eye see. I'm sorry. That's what I'm looking at. I don't want a full full on thing and I don't have anything else smaller and I feel that a page from the kit is too cutesy if that makes any sense so like uh no no that doesn't work for me so yeah we're gonna go with the coin envelope here the coin one and I'm gonna choose this one I'm just gonna set it here for now and uh leave it there leave it right there because yeah, I'm just not, I'm not digging this whole fence thing. It's pretty, that tree is cut down and it's pretty ugly and ooh, maybe, no, I'm going to do it down here because I like that in the background. All right, so that technically starts pockets for the second half of the signature, which is fantastic. So we'll go with that. And I don't have anything here. So this is a full page if we need something there. And let's see here. This music page is going to need something. This might be a place to have a really cute pocket. So I have four pockets from my kit and I've got them all kind of spread out here. Let me see what's going on. Let me see where they are. Okay, three and four. All right, so I had this decided and of course everything got mixed up. This is my front page, plus this one has the music page. This is going in my second signature. I've already decided that. Now, this bird is in the second signature, so that's going in my first signature, so it'll go somewhere in here. Um, the scarecrow can go in either, but the boots are in the front right here, so it just doesn't have the flowers. I'm thinking boots in the back, boots in the back and scarecrow in the front, and I don't really like the scarecrow down here with this owl. Didn't think about that, and then when I was designing these pockets, I also didn't realize I had three that have the images over to the left and only this one is over to the right. So that kind of, that kind of bothered me, but I'm not going to go back and fix it. It's too late now. So let's go ahead and maybe, maybe this would be cute here. Got country song. You got boots there. You got scarecrow and corn down here and, um, you know, music page. We'll, 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 we'll tentatively leave that there for right now. Feeling like pretty good about that. Okay. Ooh, but maybe it would look better on this plaid. I like that. I like it. Oh, goodness. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Uh, I have two to use. I think this one is, yeah, see, because it's like more modern and cutesy. Those work really well together. I don't think I'm going to like that. Yeah, I don't like. Ah, uh, uh, nope, not liking that. Okay, so we got to find a spot for this guy. So I think we'll go here with him. I really like that. And then I got this doily and then we've got the Van Gogh flowers, the sunflowers, which are super cute. And I added piano washi tape to that. And this whole thing back here is all open and all like boring and blah, blah, blah. And I think this would be a good place because I always think of birds and singing and music together. I think I've said that plenty of times. Um, cause I don't want to put anything back here cause that's plenty of journaling space. I'm thinking maybe here, um, but let's do it to the front because I don't want those two pockets next to each other. So I'm going to put the birdie here and then that leaves this open to be like, whatever. All right. So I used my two pockets from my kit and then I used my coin envelope. So this will be for the back second half. Now I have to either go in here and find a spot for one of these other pockets here. Um, so let's see, cause I wanted, um, I have two other ones of these and I wanted those to be my tall tags that flip open. These are going to be, um, writable belly bands. 
And so I have one that opens left and one that opens right. And I chose an image that has orange on it specifically. I, I don't really, I'm not really sure. I think I have enough, <clears throat> excuse me, in the front. So I've got one, two, three, four. Okay, I got four pockets in the front and in the back we only have one. Wow. Two. So we need two more pockets back here, but I don't want both book pages back here. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> We're going to do a belly band. Belly band. Mr. Belly band. How do I feel about that? Belly band. Obviously, is going to have to go on a page you can't write on. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe it would be nice to do it on this white page because I can totally like put a, a big pattern back here. And I, I made it a little bit shorter. I cut it a little bit shorter because I didn't know exactly how tall my pages were uh, when I was making these upstairs. So maybe I should put it on this page because it will fit better. I don't like that. I don't like that next to the owl. So again, coming back over here to the country song. I don't mind that, but I, I really wanted you to be able to see that. So... Uh... Ah, it's so hard. Sometimes it's so hard deciding where things go and thinking about that and just being aware of what you're trying to do. We might just be saving Mr. Belly Band because I don't, I mean, it's not terrible, but I feel like, uh, I feel like that. Ever felt like that? <laughs> I feel like that doesn't work for the space is too skinny on a big fat page is what I'm trying to express. These feel much better, but I wanted these for writing. So that's not going to work. But this one, since this paper is already in this page, but this one is not this nice little flip out space here with this other collage paper is kind of cute. Kind of digging that. I don't like how it's the exact length of the page, though, and I'd have to trim it down, I feel like. But what if I... I'm thinking either fold it up, which doesn't make any sense because I'm gonna. it's really going to be hard to fold it. What if we do a, a flip over, like a flippy dippy? You know, you know what I'm talking about here? Maybe we do that... Maybe we can do that <clears throat> here. Oh no, because then you're gonna see Owl again. Darn it. Well, I could just, I could just totally cover him up, like, you know. And you do have the squirrel and the owl together. Ah, oh, it's so hard to sort. Okay. All right. So when you, when I can't figure it out and I get frustrated with myself, um, I just switch gears. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to the second signature and I'm try to find some pockets for here. So I know that's gonna go inside of something. I'm gonna move that out of my way. Okay. Second half, we definitely want to use these three things. I don't have to use the coin envelope, but I got to use these two pockets back here somewhere. So let's have a flip here. And this is where I was going to put the envelope. Oh, envelope, where are you? There you are. And I was going to have it be on this side. It was going to be all cute. And I got really excited because I liked the lace next to my deer. And this was going to be a flip out. And I just feel like it's going to be too wore out so I'm bummed. I don't necessarily want to put an envelope on writing space. So I thought here might be a good idea. Really cute. It's still got this like rope down here. It's pretty rusticy, and you can flip in there and get that out. I'm going to cover up auger and you know case. So maybe here. We're feeling like maybe there. All right. And then that's that's a woohoo page. It's a mixed media page, and I feel like you could totally stick this on there and call it a day, but I need to do some, like, stamping or stenciling or something in the background, so I'm going to hold off on placing that one just yet. I really like this neutralness. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. Oh, sorry, the wind's blowing. I thought somebody was coming downstairs. Here's what I'm talking about as far as pattern on pattern. Don't like that. So this one's going to have to have, like, a book page. It's going to have to be muting this down. I do like that um, pattern there, and you can't see that. You can't see my heart leaf, so maybe you'll come back to that. Maybe that's, maybe, ah, maybe this is a good page here for the belly band. Yeah. Yeah, belly bander. Belly band, I love it. Belly band, writable belly band. Okay, so this one, um, I need to use the other one. 
since I don't like it on this side of the page when it opens inward and I gotta like try to write in that crack. It's just, I don't like it. So it's gonna go over here. And this one I sew different, which is fine. I don't particularly like um, that it doesn't fit the page, but I do like that it fits within, I can just trim this bottom piece down, fits within the, the sewing of the page. So we're gonna potentially put that one here. So I've got my two book page things, crud. Um, so let's do this one on the back side then, in that case. Oh, perfect. And then I don't have to worry about covering up anything. All right, so that one's gonna go on the back. Whoop. What am I doing here? Get back here. Okay, I need to use one of these pockets towards the front. I'm thinking I'm gonna need to put this one on that mixed media page. So I don't know. I don't know what else to do there. All right, see this is really, really cute and I wanted to kind of like put that there because it's so pretty, but I don't know. I think, ah, man, it's so hard. It's so hard to make choices sometimes. I don't like using um, two of the same pockets in the first half of the signature. So we could put it here, but I have the two bottom ones and I don't like that. Alrighty, alrighty, keep going. Just keep looking here. This could use some, but again, they're both gonna be on the bottom. All right, okay, whew. Wow, this one needs uh, to be covered up. <laughs> not, not bad, not bad. Oops. Sorry, I keep pulling it down towards me. That's not bad. I just need something else in the background to like make this pop more, if that makes any sense. I need to like tone it down. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. Tone it down. And I and this is a big pocket page here too. So I've got a lot going on. We have a lot going on there. And then that's the end. So this is a very end of the journal, very last page. So I'm not gonna put any type of pocket back here. I just don't like doing that. So what do I have left? I have the coin envelope and I already used the belly band. Oh, this pocket. See, I don't hate that. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Let's just take one more little look here. No, that is a definite, uh-uh. <laughs> I like it, but I don't, I don't like that it clashes with that flower. See, for me, it's gonna have to go. This is really cute. It's really cute here. It fits the page. I think we're gonna put it here because I like it, and I don't have to worry about it not being in the front half because I use the other one there. Okay, now I'm gonna do a quick count. So we've got an envelope. So that's one. This one would make two. Wow. Two is all? Just seems like so much more. <laughs> and then one, two, three, technically, and then this would be four. So if I take this out, it'll be three in the back. No, I don't like that. I don't mind this. This is kind of nice. It's kind of nice, but I like writing. Hmm. Mmm, choices. Um, I need another pocket in the front. That's what the problem is. I need to do something here. I need to do something. Let's go with... Um, goodness me. I thought this would be a lot easier. I need to do something here. I have the belly band on the back half. I mean, it's, it's all right. It's all right. I just, ah, maybe, hmm. Don't really want another belly band. It's just, this is going to cover up my, my picture there. And I don't like things that pull out on the inside of the journal. Maybe this would be a good spot and I don't want green. I think green is too clashy. So these might end up not getting used. This is from the front of the journal. This would be cute. This would be really cute because it adds writing space. Yeah, well, not there, but here and all of here, even though I would be losing the back of it for writing space, it, and I could turn it into like a little pocket, it just feels kind of weird. 
it feels like it doesn't quite fit the page, but it's cute. So, mm, I don't want the same on the same. Where is, oh, it's towards the front, isn't it? Everything I do is towards the front in this journal. Ah, okay, I don't know. I haven't decided, ah, I haven't decided, and I feel pressure, I feel pressure because the camera's on. <laughs> like, this is my thought process, this is how it works when it's behind the scenes, and I tell you that it takes me so long to do, this is why, this is why, and, uh, yep, it's just the way it is, it's just the way it is, so, whoopsies, I think we'll use this, because this paper is in the front, and... I don't like that this page is white. I don't like that this page is white. I don't want to flip over. Hmm. Let me see here. I was thinking if I flip it the other way. Reverse it so that the non-writing page is on this coffee dyed. Like that. What's going on here? What's going on here? Get yourself over here. Okay. So that this is on the... Goodness sakes, I got a mess. All right. Get yourself together. All right. Um, so the page that has the writing... The collaging is over top of a writing page, and then you have additional writing space. I like that. And then this side would have a writing space where it's a collage print. I think that's perfect. And then we have a pull-out tab here. And I could I could make it flip out like that, or I could totally lose that and just make this a pocket. Because I don't I know that I don't want to make this a pocket. I want to be able to journal. So I think we'll do that. And one way to do this too could be to just paper clip this in. I don't even have to glue it. I don't have to glue it. Or I could totally just have it be on one page like that, but then I I don't I would glue that side down. Cuz I need this pocket and have this just be a flip out. But then I feel like that's a waste. So I think we're going to go with the uh, the first design here. Okay. And so then this one has this flip out thing. And it's going to have this special envelope. So I want something else in the front signature that's a little bit more special for it. I would really like to maybe use one of these pockets um, with the flip out. would be really fun. Let me just count really quick. One, two. I mean, that's technically writing space. It's not really a pocket, but it is an addition. So I'm going to count it as three. And like an interactive piece. So that's three. And then three on the front. And then we have one. Belly band. Flip over. Super cute. Yes. Two. Come on. Um, this has a big giant page here. Three. And this one's going to have four in the back, which is okay because technically there's four in the front because it does have that flip over effect. And I'm just looking. That might be a little bit, a little bit much yellow on yellow, huh? Maybe, maybe. Are we feeling yellow on yellow? This does have a hint. This does have a hint of green. Ooh. The greens kind of match. I think I'm, I think I like this. To go with black base. I think I like that. I like that because I can still journal up here, like the day, the weather, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then I can still have a pull out here, here, and down here. And if I really want to, I could have it here, but I probably won't because it's going to make it harder to write on this side. In fact, I normally don't write on this page here. So let me just, I'm going to reverse this. Is that going to fix? No, it's not. It will fix my problem, but it makes it, <laughs> it, it doesn't fix my problem. Mm -mm. Nope, doesn't matter. 
because I would want it on this side and I don't want these two next to each other. So it doesn't matter. It's okay. Just thought I would just thinking out loud. Okay. There we go. Done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Decided. Okay. Done with all that. Now I'm going to go back to this front page. Take a quick look. I believe there's four up here. One. It's because I added too many pages. Two. Three. Like they're back to back to back. Four. Which is fine. It's just a lot. And then there's one. And then like a whole lot of nothing. See that? Two. Yeah. Definitely needs more on this back half. Okay. Is there any way I can remedy this? Let me just take a quick look. So this is sewn in, can't change that. And this is a sewn in page, can't change that. The only thing I could do here would be to flip this around. So I could invert it like this, which doesn't really matter because you, oh boy, I guess it does. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It does matter. I don't like this pattern next to this. So that's why it went the other way. What if what if we go No. Alright. I I tried. I tried so hard. Okay, we're not gonna sing for you. Alright. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to get this pocket on this back half. Even though originally I wanted it on the front half because in the second signature it's on the same side. But I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that at all. So I need a loud... This is where the loud page is supposed to go. And I don't have another loud page. Yeah, see? See what I mean? Okay, back to, back to plan A. Back to plan A here. Yep. Okay, here we go. There we go. Um, golly, what am I doing here? Let's do. I need something. I need something here. Oh no. Oh no. What did I just do? This goes. I know where it goes. I know where it goes. Right here. Goes right there. I remember. I remember for once. <laughs> something here, maybe. And that's not. I'm not liking that. Maybe this one. Will be at the perfect spot. Country sewing flip out with some green. There's a little tiny bit of green. It's small enough. I mean, I don't particularly like eggplants. Just hilarious. That's the page there. Actually, I've never really eaten an eggplant. Um, I feel like that would be cool. That would that would work? That would be an option. It does brighten it up with some yellow on there. I'm not crazy about it. Definitely can't use that. I don't have anything else. I could do this. But I wanted you to see the country. And I didn't like it next to Mr. Owl. So possible option there. Alright. So we're gonna we're gonna feel that out for a second. Okay. Um because I want all this original writing space on that page. Now this one, I could do something. But I don't want it to take away from these sunflowers. Yeah. So we have one. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta count. Two. <laughs> Three. I feel like that's good. Four. Okay. I'm liking it. Now back, back this way. We have one. Two. Three. Four. Okay. We got four and four. Now I gotta do this one one more time and then we're done. I'll shut this video off. It's gonna take forever to upload. Okay. So one, two. Technically that's three. And four right next to each other. And then this one. Really like that cabin. We got one. Two, three, big pocket page, and four. Okay, perfect. I've got all the pockets that I'm going to be using in there. And so then I'm left with these big journal spaces, my big journal cards and tags. 
and maybe a writing space. Um, so I'm probably not going to be using these three, which is fine. I'll just have them for my stash. I want to put this in the big journal page pocket and then I've got this neat little tag there for writing on. So anyways, guys, that's how we are in our journal. I'm so excited. I'm going to go ahead and work on putting some of those pages in there and decorating the background if they need it. So in the next video, all the pockets will be glued in and then we'll work on filling up the pockets and decorating. All right, everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you really soon. Bye for now.